kwento tungkol sa race car driving at pag-ibig ang ating tatalakayan dito sa studio kasama ang isang maituturing na Pinoy pride, ang Filipino-Swiss race car driver na si Marlon Stockinger. Good morning, Marlon. Good morning. Okay, um, kilalang kilala ka sa Pilipinas dahil uh, ikaw yung um, talagang race car driver at I understand ikaw yung unang-unang Pilipino na nakasali sa uh, Formula, Formula One, tama ba? Yes, Cara. Mm -hmm. So it's the um, a couple of years ago I got the opportunity talaga to race. Well, not race, but drive and mm -hmm. test a Formula One car with Lotus. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a really incredible experience. All right. Yeah. Maraming mga tao iniisip parang, ay, siguro foreigner yan, siguro lumaki yan sa ibang bansa, kaya nagkaroon ng pagkakataon na makapag, ano, makasali dyan sa mga ganyang klaseng race. Pero ang hindi alam ng marami, ikaw ay laking Maynila, at dito ka talaga nagsimula sa Maynila na maging mahilig sa race car driving, di ba? Mm -hmm. Nine years old ka nga lang ba? Tama ba nung nag-start ka? Yes, Cara. So dito talaga nag-start ako sa Pinas. Mm -hmm. Pag sa Carrera with go-karts in in Carmona. Cavite. In Cavite. All right. And, uh, yeah, so it was... Ay, ito ba yun? You have a picture. <laughs> Ang liit-liit mo, just yeah. ko yun. Grabe. Tapos, so, nagre-race car ka na nun. Mm -hmm. So, it was the... Parang, I think, that might have been the first time, actually, that I ever sat in a go-kart. So, it was my father's fault. I blame him for that. <laughs> and, uh, ever since that day, parang, the rest was history. Because, mm -hmm. um... Yeah, I've been I've been racing now the last 16 years, so it's been a really really big part of my life. Oh, oh at maraming uh, parte ng buhay mo abroad. Yes. So, Kasi nagtitrain ka doon, mm -hmm. nagre-race ka doon. Yeah, so when I was uh, 16, 17, I left home, I left my lahat yung mga family ko, yung friends ko, I left them to to live in England mm. by myself. So I've been on the road, uh, flying, driving, racing ever since I was 17. What so. is it about racing na talagang hindi uh, mo na ito binitawan? Parang it's more the adren adrenaline rush talaga. Kasi it's a feeling you can't explain pag when you only cross the, the finish line. So maybe it's, it's similar to competing in like... I don't know marathons or triathlons. Mm. That when you, parang when you cross the finish line, you have this rush of accomplishment. Mm. Whether you win it, whether you lose it, the feeling is always the same. You know, so mm. it's it's a really addictive and cool feeling. Actually. Okay, sinabi mo adrenaline rush, yung parang addiction to speed, mm. ganyan. Yung mga salitang yan, palaging ang iniisip jan danger. When you, when you go very, very fast, when your heart is pumping, tapos mm -hmm. talagang may adrenaline rush ka, kaakibat niyan yung risk ng danger. And ikaw, na-involve ka na rin sa accident before. Oo. Like, pero dati pa yan, I think I had mga one or two big accidents in my, in my racing career. But parang the, the safety standards mm -hmm. that motorsport has come along with ever since let's say the early 90s where, or even before that where you had a lot of deaths in racing, mm -hmm. um, the governing body, the FIA, they've ensured that you know, safety standards are very high and it's very unlikely that it happens. But okay. that's also parang part of the lure, you know, yung, yung appeal ng carrera is the danger going quick. But mm -hmm. it's assured that you know, most of the time, if you have a big accident naman, you can walk away from it. Dito sa Pilipinas, may ilang mga kabataan na involved sa drag racing. But that's totally different from what you do. Yes. I mean, I would never... Um, I would never say you should go drag racing on the streets. It's kasi different. Iba yan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kasi pag yung ginawa natin, it's, it's certified, you know, you're with professional people, you're yung mga racetrack, yung mga marshal. Mm -hmm. Kahit yung mga marshal, actually some of the best are Pinoy rin eh. Because I used to do some races in uh, the Middle East or, mm -hmm. or even here in Asia and a lot of the marshals actually ended up being Filipino. So they've been trained, they, they know how to take care of you if there's an accident or or to warn other drivers that there's an accident around the corner mm -mm. or wherever you are on the track. And pag sa drag racing on the street... Iba yun. Iba walang, yun kasi, ano, yeah, it's just, walang rules yun eh. There's no rules. At saka yung, the most important part about that is pag if something goes wrong, not only are you risking your own life, mm -mm. but you're risking the public's life, people's life, you know? Mm -mm. So I really... 
I'm very much against uh, drag racing or racing on the streets. In fact, it's mm -hmm. just get from point A to point B. That's the most important. You don't so, want... so hindi ibig sabihin na porke magaling ka sa drag racing, eh, pwede ka nang sumunod sa yung pakni Marlon Stockinger. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, those people who 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 have a passion for that, I understand. But if you have, if you want to get it out of your system, go to. The, we have racetracks here in the Philippines. Right, right. You can go to Clark. You can go right. go to Batangas. There's proper drag strips there, you know, where, you, where it's safe. Don't use the streets. Yeah, don't use the streets. The streets is for the public. Mm -mm. There's pedestrians, there's bikes, cars, all mm -mm. these things, you know, mm -hmm. people walking across the streets. So you don't want to take that risk, talaga. Ikaw, Marlon, kapag nagda-drive ka dito sa Pilipinas, kas kasero ka ba? No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty tame. And normally, like, um, what's this, when I get home, a lot of the time, I'm just with the family, or they, they drive me around because right. I, I kind of get frustrated the man with the traffic. It can be a bit <laughs> crazy. So I'm happy I arrived here early enough and on time. But uh, yeah, normally if, if if I have to do it, I drive myself. Okay. Yeah. Um, but then uh, ng car racing yung expenses. I understand kanina nag uusap tayo na para makasali ka sa mga race na to kailangan talaga may may sponsors ka kasi. Mm -hmm. Because it's very expensive. Give us an idea how expensive it is the sport. Well, too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, honestly, if you get the right chance, mm -mm. if you have the talent, and I really believe in the talent of the Philippines and our country. Pagsa, in my generation, kasi all the people I raced against, they could have easily been in my position mm. or even done well in motorsport themselves. And I think it's something, you know, Pinoy's have. We have the mentality for it, yung laban na laban, never give up attitude, whether we're at the back or at the front. Kailangan lang na support, ah. It's just, yeah, all about having the support talaga. So mm -hmm. it's part of racing, it's a business in the end, but it's a profitable business, you know. If, if companies or, 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 or whoever gets involved, they mm -hmm. can benefit from it. So it's not just take and you never see the money and we all go around racing in circles, it's, it's beneficial, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a platform as well. So, pang mayaman lang ba itong sport na to? Masasabi bang ganun? Or never, hindi naman? No, kasi also a lot of the people you see in F1 or, the, or myself or mm -hmm. people who have gone into the top level of motorsport, mm -mm. most of them even didn't have or, or were very poor themselves. Mm -hmm. To a certain extent, not not that they were you know struggling on the street, but they didn't have the means to uh, fund themselves all the way to the top. They mm -mm. needed support, but they also at the same time needed to show the talent. So it's again, you you give something, but you need to take something also. K yung mga Pilipino talagang sobrang proud kami nung nalaman namin that you're racing sa Formula One. Um, pero after that, medyo medyo naging quiet yung, yung career mo. What's next for you ba? Ano ba ano bang pinaghahandaan mong big race? Obviously, yeah. So for this year, it's it's still quiet because we're we're putting into plans basically yeah. for 2017 the next up, upcoming racing mm -hmm. season. So it's one is one main thing is to look talaga yung support ta chaka sponsorship. Mm -hmm. If that's possible that always helps here. And I'm hoping to race again in the Blank Pan GT series. So it's uh, it's been a really great series with the best uh, GT drivers and cars in the world. So that's the cool thing because yung mga kotse dyan sa championship na yan, it's cars you see on the street. Mm -hmm. So pwede mag-relate yung mga tao sa mga kotse natin. So it's it's a really cool series and I'm hoping I get the opportunity to to race that this year. Kasi sayang naman ang talent ng Pilipino at saka mm -hmm. yung hard work natin, yes. 'di ba? At lakas ng loob ng mga Pinoy kung hindi susuportahan. Yeah. No, and it's sayang lang kasi we've come so far yeah. already. Yeah. I think like there wasn't really this blueprint before and me having the career I did in motorsport thanks to also local companies in the yeah. Philippines yeah. supporting me. Yeah. And obviously lahat yung mga fans, I mean, they're super proud talaga. So Sayang lang if it doesn't keep pushing through, and I really believe that you know one day I can bring a championship back mm -hmm. home to the Philippines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talaga naman ang mga Pilipino ngayon talaga pang international na. Pasensya ka na Marlon pero pero may isa pa kasing isyo ngayon sa buhay mo. <laughs> Kailangan ka namin tanungin kasi the Miss Universe competition is uh, is coming up and. Uh, international figure din yung girlfriend mo na si Miss Universe Pia Wurtzbach. Yes. <laughs> uh, 
alam ko you're a very private person, pero paano ba kayo nagulat na lang ang lahat na parang, oh, may boyfriend na pala si Pia. <laughs> how, how did you guys meet? Yeah, so we always knew each other through like, parang the same social circles and so even even before she was Miss Universe kilala mo yes na? but ah. not naman like like really properly together any right. any of these things and I think we really just this year got to connect and mm -mm. it's just been really wonderful so I'm very happy mm -hmm. maraming mga tao gustong gusto si Pia even the candidates and in yung organizers ng Miss Universe talagang bilib na bilib sa confidence niya mm -hmm. um, but we all see her as Miss Universe with the crown how is she like without the crown I think I think pretty much the same kasi with Pia talaga the the nice thing about her mm -hmm. she's very unfiltered so mm -hmm. what you see is what you get with her and kahit even with or without the crown she's still her genuine self so right, I think right. that's that's the really nice thing about Pia she's always genuine 100% true and honest with, with how she is. Ang problema ninyo, ikaw, busy-busy ka sa training, si Pia, ang dami rin niyang ginagawa, tapos you go, siya pumunta sa, pumupunta sa iba-ibang bansa, ikaw rin pumupunta sa iba-ibang bansa. How do you guys find time? Well, I, I'm also, I don't know sometimes, <laughs> actually. But no, I, it's, it's, it's actually really good because I think when two people have a career, mm -hmm. They can fo focus on their own lives, but then have this personal life or relationship with someone. Mm -hmm. And it's nice because, pag kay Pia, I can relate with her. So, kahit siya yung may corona, ako naman may helmet lang. <laughs> we put something on our heads when we go to work, mm -hmm. but it's cool because we can kind of relate in that way, you know. And I really admire her hard work and work ethic, and mm. I think she also does with me. And we somehow come in the middle and it, it all works out talaga. Okay, so, may long-term plans na ba kayo? <laughs> no, I mean, I think for now it's it's one step at a time, mm. one day at a time. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to focus on obviously the upcoming pageant and and passing on her crown as the best way she can. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Na, nasasabi ba niya sa'yo kung ano mga feelings niya that she's finally finishing her reign tapos passing on the crown to another girl? I don't think she'd ever want to give the crown away, honestly. But, Talaga? <laughs> yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want to? She's, but she's had a really great reign. Mm -hmm. I think it's bittersweet, obviously, because you, you've, you're Miss Universe for, for only that short period in time. But I know she feels very blessed for the opportunity she got. Mm. and the fact that she represented the Philippines and she's been very successful at it. So yeah. I think there's, there's no regrets in that sense and I think it will be really nice when, when the pageant comes on the 30th. Okay. Mga kapuso, as uh, hindi niyo siguro alam na si Marlon, aside from racing sa mga kotse, nagre-race din ito, bisikleta naman. <laughs> triathlon, triathlete. Wheels, Oo, yeah. <laughs> triathlete na din itong si Marlon. Tumatakbo, nagsiswimming at saka nagbibisikleta. Pa paano mo pinagsasabay yung training ng, ng, car, ng car racing tapos nagta-triathlon ka pa tapos meron ka pang Miss Universe na girlfriend? <laughs> Grabe na yung oras mo. That's, pa, yung triathlon kasi parang that also goes hand in hand para sa karera. Because mm. yung mga stereotype for drivers or racing drivers is like, oh, they just sit in, in the car lang, di ba? Mm -hmm. And make maneho. But it, you really have to be fit. You have to be an athlete and you have to train because so mm. just as much as you know working at the desk or going to your day job nine to five diba? it's the same with racing it's a commitment you can't just parang wake up one day and say oh i'm a racing driver no it doesn't work like that it takes commitment mm -hmm. hard work so one part of that hard work is training and i really like um doing triathlon because it goes well with my fitness that's necessary for racing Kasi also. ang triathlon, endurance yan eh. Yeah. Tapos ang racing with cars, endurance din pala. Endurance Hindi din. lang speed. Hindi. Kasi matagal din yung mga karera. Mm -mm. Last year, it took me, like I had a 24-hour race. Mm. And I did 8 hours. So that's longer than any triathlon I've ever done. Grabe. So you need to really, you need to prepare your body. You know, the same way like a boxer would go into a training camp and prepare for his one big match. It's the same principle mm -hmm. for, for our sport. You know, we have to keep fit. We have to watch what we eat. 
it's it's a it's a full time job talaga. Okay, your your message to other um young young uh, Filipinos who want to follow your footsteps, gusto ring maging uh, sumali sa Formula One in the future. Yeah. Well, I mean, the best advice talaga I can give is um, always pursue your dreams, but also don't ever forget the fun in doing it, diba? Mm -hmm. We can get so easily caught up in, especially in these days in social media, it's very easy to listen to what other people say or bashers and all right, these things. Right, so right. just always focus on your own happiness in the pursuit of your own dreams. And I think whatever, whatever it is, whether it's Formula One or if you want to become a, a, a businessman, mm. successful businessman, mm -hmm. it will always work out as long as you enjoy it. Okay, okay. Sorry, ah, tatanungin ko na lang rin ito. Uh, and, and it might be cheesy, pero your message to Pia? <laughs> well, obviously, I just want to wish Pia the best for when she passes on the crown. And uh, yeah, I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us today. And good luck sa mga susunod mong race, whether with two wheels or with four wheels, yeah. triathlon man or car racing. Good luck and... You always make us proud as Thank Filipinos. Maraming maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Thank Mga you. kapuso, Marlon Stockinger, Pinoy Pride, ang kauna-unahang Pilipino na lumaban sa Formula 1 sa Europa at ang nagpadibok sa puso ng ating Miss Universe. Thank you very much, <laughs> Thank Marlon. You, salamat. Thank you.